Is the car price bubble beginning to burst? That's the big question for the day. The answer is yes, contrary to totally BS content that's out there. So do not buy one more car from a dealer who has a market adjustment on their vehicles. Just don't. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth to help give you some straight talk and some insight into an exciting development in used car inventories. So what gives us optimism that the car price bubble was about to burst? It's rising inventories at CarMax, the country's biggest used car dealer, and increases in manufacturer output in the country of Japan, providing a glimmer of hope for used car shoppers. This is awesome news, and most importantly, they are the most reliable indicators. Most reliable. Yeah. Much more reliable than the small percentage ticks we hear quoted so often at the auto auction, and it's something you can see with your own eyes. It was last summer when we told people, car prices will start coming down as inventory improves, right? It's simple supply and demand. When did prices start going up? When the inventories went down. So logically, the reverse is also true. Prices will come down as inventory goes back up. What Liz is driving at is this video is not one of those clickbaity video titles that we frequently see put out by other recent car buying video creators on YouTube. In fact, they contradict themselves just days apart. Yeah. Like this video title 10 days ago, used car prices are going back up even more, followed four days later by, it's happening, the car price bubble is finally bursting, and then three days later, the worst time to buy a car is this summer, here's why, and just yesterday, no, the bubble has not burst. Market update. It's like a ping pong game. All on the same channel. It's like <laughs> fake news. Yeah. This kind of contradiction in a creator's content is just mind boggling. I can also say as a long-term successful statistician that an analysis of a 10th or a hundredth of a point of movement in data over a 30 day period on the wholesale auto auction is completely meaningless and hardly a reason to release more content. Movement like that is well within the range of normal data points, is zero indication of an emerging trend, and leads to all kinds of self-inflicted contradictions. Nobody should ever count on it. By the way, we do welcome any newcomers to YouTube who have experience in the car business and wish to use that experience to help car buyers here online. But I emphasize that you make it good, reliable content so it helps to change the car business and prevents people from getting ripped off. What we're saying is that clickbait titles have never been our mojo. We aren't here just to entice you into a click. We're here to use our experience to provide you with real advice and to put serious meat on the bone with useful and reliable information. That's always what we've been about in the homework guy way, even when we worked on the car lots. We don't have to apologize for lies we told customers because we never drank the dealer Kool-Aid. Never. never. And Kevin got fired for being too honest. That's right. <laughs> I know. I was there from the very beginning of all this. I was the one who encouraged him to go on to YouTube. That's right. So you can thank the amazing Elizabeth, the fact that I'm even here today. Okay, point made. So enough on that. Admittedly, we don't actually have a crystal ball to see exactly when this erratic market will turn the corner. But as Liz stated, a look at the current inventory conditions, a highly reliable statistic, and expert forecasts that lend credence to this is what we have teed up for you today. As everyone knows, the past year has been a wild and very expensive ride for anyone who bought a car. A new car shortage caused by supply chain bottlenecks and insufficient production of automotive semiconductor chips had greedy dealers around the country slapping eye-popping and budget-busting price tags on the cars they had in inventory. And then many added insult to injury by piling on with thousands more in unwanted fees and products. We told you recently that you didn't have to put up with that nonsense, and you don't. But many of you are accepting it anyway. Call them out for violating consumer protection laws requiring transparent pricing and stand your ground. Be firm and get the deal you went there for. These challenges were magnified by economy-wide labor shortages and the rising costs of running a dealership. At the hands of opportunistic and greedy dealers, car prices soared well above inflation for most other consumer goods. A 40% increase in a single year is mind-boggling. That's far beyond the current 7.5% we're seeing in market-wide inflation. Far beyond. And while prices remain far above where they used to be before these disruptions, recently there have been signs that things might be looking up for consumers who need a new or used, new to you, ride. At least for those who don't mind doing a little shopping online. According to Thinknum's current data, the inventory at online used car marketplace CarMax has grown by more than 75% since the beginning of the year. That's phenomenal. And very significant, 75%. 
The auto industry traditionally measures inventory in terms of the number of days that its current stock can last, given the current levels of demand. CarMax now has enough cars in stock to fulfill 30 days worth of demand. 30 days! That's mind-blowing right now, all things considered. Yes, it is. While champagne and fireworks are a bit premature at this stage, this is certainly cause for optimism. The inability of car manufacturers to keep up with demand is largely responsible for the current outrageous prices for both new and used vehicles. Rising inventory at places like CarMax could be an indication that dealers are finding a way to work around the supply issues, which could lead to some relief on the pricing front. It's a simple supply and demand equation. CarMax and other online auto sellers source a substantial part of their inventory from individual car owners. The offer price is determined by an algorithm and is usually higher than the offer you can expect from a typical brick and mortar dealership. That has helped them get more cars and to be more competitive in building up inventory. Despite their unique position in the market, the rising inventories at places like CarMax are a sign of turning tide for the auto industry as a whole. It's a chink in the dam. And you know what happens once the water starts flowing? The eventual big whoosh is coming. <laughs> also, we can add to this that some car manufacturers have already increased output and industry analysts predict that car shortages will continue to be reduced throughout the year. We're headed in the right direction. Finally. Finally. Although the microchip shortage continues to be a significant disruptor, automakers have made adjustments to adapt to the tight supply to keep production lines moving. Accelerating this trend is a sooner than anticipated restoration of semiconductor manufacturing in Asia, which can also help to ease the chip shortage to some degree. One of the contributing factors on the new car side could be the fact that Japan's factory output jumped at the fastest pace on record late last fall, mm -hmm. as easing global supply chain bottlenecks helped car production leap out of its recent slump, lifting prospects for a strong rebound on its way. That's true. Japan's factory production gained 7.2% last November over the previous month, posting its largest jump since 2013 when comparable data first became available, thanks to the rising output of motor vehicles and plastic products. That meant production rose for the second straight month and posted a faster rise than the 4.8% gain predicted by the Reuters poll. Additionally, the recent decision of the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates is having a cool-down effect on demand for cars, as the cost of auto financing is on the rise. While we are still far from being out of the inflationary woods, the data suggests that we may be slowly on our way. However, the automotive industry will continue to face old challenges, and we will have to adjust to new ones created by global problems. The war overseas has led to new supply chain disruptions, manufacturing difficulties, and additional inflation driven by rising fuel costs. The recent disruptions in operations of some Chinese ports and manufacturing facilities add to the delay in recovery. Nonetheless, these factors will hopefully prove to be only a temporary setback for the used car market's return to normalcy. Tyson Jomini, J.D. Powers, Vice President of Data and Analytics said, the good news is that production is expected to increase, which will make it easier to get a vehicle, but do not expect dealer lots to fill up right away. And why does Tyson Jomini say that? The industry lost 2.5 million sales in 2020 and another 2 million in 2021. So it's going to take some time and there will be a lot of people waiting yeah. to buy a car. Perhaps the long wait is getting closer to being over. We think rising inventory at CarMax is the beginning of a precipitous fall in car prices. So hold on to your hats, folks. The end to all of this nonsense is actually getting closer. If you'd like to say thanks for our video today with a tip, the links showing up here will be easy to find down below. And if you enjoyed this video today, we appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share with family and friends. And if you're not already on board with us, subscribe. Also, if you go out and get yourself what you believe to be a good car deal and are treated fairly and respectfully by a dealer, Please remember to come back and share your story on our channel so others know who the good guys are. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we strive to do in every video we produce. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.